What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Hope everybody's having an awesome morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever it is that you're watching this video. Guys, Team Builder. All right, I didn't go live with this because it's a lot of information. I just kind of don't want to read through. It's kind of self-explanatory, if that makes sense. Um, I've been busy. I want to apologize for that. Nothing to apologize about. I know, but still, you know, we've been busy moving and stuff like that. Finally got everything out the other house. Finally got everything into this house. So, you know, it's kind of go time. You know, I still got to straighten up my, my office here a little bit. My, my game room, if you will. Um, but I'm excited, man, and ready to get back to making content. This evening, I want to go live and do uh, like some practice playthrough help kind of uh, type of stuff. Um, I might wait till tomorrow for that just so I'm not rushing and I can because I am tired. I am exhausted, y'all. Needless to say, the content will continue. So team builder wise, I was one of those people who on the surface didn't care about team builder because I didn't want to build a team. The only thing I've always used team builder for is taking a team that I wanted to play with in dynasty mode and maybe giving them better looking uniforms and a better looking stadium, like a smaller school. Like, say, for example, this this is perfect if you want to play with a Kennesaw State, but you want to make your stadium big enough to where your fans can grow to accommodate. Does that make sense? You're not going to get into the top 25 toughest places to play with only 18,000 fans. I don't think that's possible. Um, it could be. I don't know. You know, but that place isn't going to get very loud. Does that make sense? And the game doesn't have a way for you to upgrade stadiums in game, which I, that's crazy. I get it. Maybe, you know, because there's so many stadiums. I don't know, but I have to digress. Um, this is something that I want to see myself do. I, I, Because when you upload a team, they ask you whatever team you're replacing, do you want to replace their roster? You want their roster on your team. And I was like, wow, so I can literally recreate, let's say, SMU. I can give them a bigger stadium, per se. I can put them in somebody else's stadium. But, you know, there right now, when Bordeaux, I watched his video, I was very impressed with the level of depth in Team Builder. Uh, but at the moment, there wasn't any generic stadiums. All the stadiums were um, of the schools that are in the game. And while and it's the same way that they did in, in previous games. While you may be able to change the field art, you can't change the branding around the actual stadium itself. So if you're trying to recreate a team, like if I want to give SMU a bigger stadium and put them in one that looks just like Texas, I wouldn't be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Or, or A&M. A big stadium like that. I wouldn't be able to do that because AM branding is going to be all over that stadium. But if I wanted to, say, recreate Texas and give them some new uniforms, I could easily do that with Team Builder. Like, the, it has its uses, as, if that makes sense. You know, so, you know, looking at the website here, I'm not reading through this. I'll put a link to it in the description box down below. But I would just say I am highly impressed with Team Builder. I expect this site to crash from so many people trying to build teams. Over 700,000 people were playing college football on early access. This is going to be even more once the game is actually out. Um, but you can just see here, you're able to create the team, the branding, the uniforms, the stadium, you, your program. You can't, you cannot edit player names on your roster. You have to do that inside of the uh, game itself and you can't play with this team builder from my understanding in an offline dynasty you have to play with it in an online dynasty you can still play by yourself in online dynasty but it has to be online connected to the servers if that makes sense um so your brand you just pick your logo your colors now the cool thing with the logos like they've had in previous years you can use your logo to pick the colors does that make sense instead of trying to match the colors it, it has a matching system so you have a primary logo, uh, you have a secondary logo, and then you have a uh, another logo. So you're going to upload up to three logos, it looks like, in the game. This is where I'm excited because before you can create a home, uh, um, I think before you can create four jerseys. You had a home, away, I think you had a home alternate and an away alternate. I can't really remember, but now you can create up to five uniforms in the game and guys it gets even better the helmets i don't remember being able to yeah you can create the helmets you could the level of detail is insane okay and that's why i'm not going live talking about this that's why i'm not going into detail talking about this because my boy bordeaux 
go watch his video. I'll probably put a link to it in the description. He went into detail, literally creating a team. And dude, you can do Chrome mat, Chrome stickers, Chrome like it, it. The level of detail is insane with what you can do with uh, the uniforms. And I'm so excited because. In previous games, I remember I talked to y'all about that, like with Oregon having a lot of cool looking uniforms and stuff. I wish we could do that in Team Builder. Now you pretty much can. And, and it's amazing. And I'm super excited to see that. Uh, the helmet detail is insane, guys. There's so much you can do with the helmets. There's so much you can do with the jerseys, different stripe patterns, the colors. Like, and you know, I'm putting a black uni in the game. You got to. OK, you got to. Uh, custom layers. I mean, like I said, team builder is pretty much self-explanatory. The biggest difference with this one than 14 is it is way more detailed. Okay. You can really make this team yours. I, I, there's going to be so many different unique Jersey combinations and things like that. Helmets. And, you know, before you kind of run into the issue of everybody kind of had the same deal, but no, not no more, man. It is super, super cool. Custom layers. We kind of talked about that. You can even make your stickers. I mean, your, your stickers, your decals, you can make them matte. You can give them a, a chrome finish to match a, match a chrome helmet per se. Stuff like that. Like it's modernized, you know, back in 14, we really didn't have a lot of that wasn't just rampant or all the way around now with technology and stuff like that. You can have all of that and more. Uh, same thing with the jerseys. Very, very detailed. It says here, customizing the jersey represents a big area of opportunity for college. You'll have the ability to select from Adidas, Nike, or Under Armour to better represent the variety of uniforms used at the FBS level and beyond. So that's, I think that's something new. I don't remember you being able to change, get a certain jersey. And what's cool too is if you pick Adidas jersey, you get that Adidas tight jersey you know their jerseys do look different than a nike jersey do look different than an under armor jersey and it, i am super excited about that i think before you had to have a custom patch to put there but that is amazing 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 based on your apparel brand that you select you'll have a specific set of jersey stitch patterns that's what i was just talking about or chassis available to you to start with once you select the stitch pattern you'll then have the providers, real life stripes, designs, cups, collars, and fonts available to you guys. I'm a coach. I'm a I'm a football coach. Also coach basketball. Also coach track. I'm gonna tell you this: being a head coach of a sport and being a coach, period. You create uniforms. I literally just created uh, basketball uniforms for my basketball girls varsity this year. And guys, this like what they just said is basically you're able to do the same stuff coaches do in real life. Go to these websites. You're not going to the actual website. You're doing it from the team builder site, but they're giving you, hey, if I pick Under Armour, I'm going to have available to me what Under Armour offers to make jerseys in real life. Like, bro, this is crazy. The level of detail is insane. And, and as a coach, it's so cool to be able to design a jersey and then see it in game. Heck, I might, I might, you know, look and create my high school jerseys and see them in game and see how they look or something. You know, you just, just play around with it. See how cool it is. I mean, that sounds super dope. Note that certain chassis go with specific stripe patterns and designs. So, you know, you can't, yeah, that's depth. That is a insane level of depth. For college, the design team has worked closely with all three providers with, authentic, with authentic, authenticity in mind. And if we're missing something, don't worry. We're working closely with each company to release additional post-launch content throughout the year to give users more ways to create the perfect look. So like I told y'all a long time ago, when I told y'all live service, this is a live service game, even with Team Builder. That is the beauty of the world that we're in right now. When 14 was out, you didn't have all this live updates to stuff and things like that. Now you do. And it's so cool. Guys, you can even customize your freaking socks. We already know you can customize the pants, but you can do the socks too, man. That is so crazy. For socks, you'll be able to set the color of the over sock, the color of the base slash under sock, and the brand color on the sock on the collegiate site. And just like that, you've completed your first uniform, but there's still work to do because you got to have alternate jerseys. And, and, and it's the same level of depth with these. And it's super duper cool that they have all of this in the game. I cannot wait. And then your home field. Um, now that you'll, you'll have eight components for your stadium, you can set stadium, 
You can you can even adjust what color clothes the crowd wears. Say my school colors are black and red. Um, I can adjust how much of the crowd is wearing black. Like, is it going to be a mostly uh, a crowd is going to mostly wear black? Or are they going to mostly wear red? Is it going to be 50 50? Is it going to be 60 40 or whatever? Super cool. Um, I'm trying to see here. Uh, start by choosing one of the existing 134 team stadiums and rename it to be your own with your stadium set. It's time to customize your crowd. Now, what I'm wondering, because like I said, Bordeaux had a beta version of team builder i'm really wondering are they going to continue that notion of of the branding or are they going to wipe it i i really i mean with today's technology i really would hope that they would wipe it wipe the branding from the stadium you know what i'm saying but i have to digress if it I, that, to me that's the only hang up i don't want to be playing in a stadium that has um another school's branding around it does that make sense even though the field is unique and then turf wise guys you can literally create any color turf you want to i actually thought about doing a black field all black field but yeah it's i'm i'm so used to green fields like i i'm not a fan of the colored football fields it's just you know like boise oh boise got some sick uniforms i love it i remember when i played a dynasty with boise and i literally would go into team builder and recreate their exact stadium and everything but instead of giving them blue turf i'd give them turf i'd give them green turf and it was fun to play with i know uh i think it's eastern kentucky maybe or eastern washington they have the all red field um uh close to here um uh central arkansas they got one that's that's purple and gray striped it's a it's a gray field or whatever eastern michigan has an all gray field you know so i don't know man creating a black field might be cool i don't know but it's like eh, you know so I used to playing on grass but that is still pretty cool you can change the number font on the field you could change the sideline pattern here to have a wider sideline of, you know, for people to have stuff for your bigger schools and stuff. The strike patterns around the field, like the numbers, the, the 20 yard line lines can be different colors. The numbers themselves can be different colors. Like you can literally edit everything on this field and it is so cool. And then as far as your rosters, um, you can edit your rosters. You can't edit the name. You have to do that in dynasty mode. But everything else can be edited from the team builder website. Now, understand if you're replacing a team, you're going to be asked, do you want to keep their roster? You know what I'm saying? So take that into account. If not, then you'll have the roster that you create. So all in all, guys, that's really cool. Like I said, I'm excited for team builder. I hope y'all are excited for team builder. I can't wait to create some uniforms. I, may, I, I, I don't know if the website is live now or not. I'll have to go check. But if it is, I'm going to go ahead and get to creating, man. And like I said, tune in later. Uh, today, I do plan on um, I do plan on streaming today. I want to stream. I want to I want to get in there and and stream and 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 do some tips and tricks kind of things because i've gotten better at the game and i've i it, it there's there's some crazy stuff with this game like crazy good stuff from a game plan standpoint so let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below guys till next time thanks for watching peace